Hi everyone, my name is Julia and I'm an educator at the Columbia River Maritime Museum. The Columbia River Bar, where the Columbia River meets the Pacific Ocean, is considered one of the most dangerous waterways in the world. And since 1800, the Graveyard of the Pacific has claimed over 2,000 ships and hundreds, if not thousands, of lives. Each month leading up to the opening of the Columbia River Maritime Museum's shipwrecks exhibit, the Education Department will feature one shipwreck that fell victim to the Graveyard of the Pacific. Our first, and maybe most famous example, is the Peter Iredale. When the Peter Iredale was built, it was considered one of the finest four-masted sailing ships in the world. It was built in 1890 in Maryport, England by R. Ritson and Company, and was owned by the British shipping firm Iredale and Porter. Iredale, of course, was the ship's namesake. The ship was originally run by Captain G. A. Brown, and later Captain H. Lawrence, who was famous in the maritime community for his red beard and sharp sense of humor. It was Captain Lawrence who was in charge of the Peter Iredale on the night of its fateful last voyage. The Peter Iredale was a cargo ship on her way to Portland to pick up a load of wheat that would be brought back to the UK. On September 26, 1906, the Iredale left Salina Cruz, Mexico en route to the Columbia River. The trip was uneventful until the ship neared the graveyard of the Pacific. Around two o'clock in the morning on October 25 of 1906, Captain Lawrence saw that the ship was approaching the Tillamook Rock lighthouse that was glowing in the distance. He called all hands on deck and told the crew that they would wait until daylight for a bar pilot to be able to take them across the Columbia River bar. It's believed that Captain Lawrence thought the ship was about 50 miles offshore, but he was probably a lot closer than he had originally guessed. Despite their best efforts to stay in one place, a strong wind started to blow around 6 in the morning, and the Iredale was pushed into Clatsop Sands, which we now know as Clatsop Spit. The force of the impact caused three of the Iredale's four masts to snap, and the crew had to scatter to avoid being crushed or caught in all of the lines and sails that were falling around them. As the ship began to be pounded by the elements, Captain Lawrence put out a distress call. The Coast Guard in its modern day form didn't exist at that point, but the call was answered by life-saving crews from Point Adams Lighthouse, Cape Disappointment, and Fort Stevens. Everyone from the crew of 27, plus two stowaways, were rescued from the wreck. When Captain Lawrence was brought to shore, rescue team members reported that he was carrying the ship's log, a sextant, and a bottle of whiskey. He pulled the whiskey from his coat, raised it towards the ship, and famously said, May God bless you, and may your bones bleach into these sands. After the Peter Iredale wrecked, Captain Lawrence reported to a naval court in Astoria to explain how and why the accident had occurred. Thankfully, they decided it was the sudden change in wind and unpredictable weather that had caused the accident. The court's decision stated that, having carefully considered the evidence, we do find that the master and his first and second officers are in no ways to blame for the stranding of the said vessel. People came from all over to see the shipwreck, and the Astoria and Columbia River Railroad actually planned to run a line onto the beach so that people could go see it. Visitors traveled by train, in buggies, and eventually in cars to see the Peter Iredale. And in the early days, some people actually would climb onto the ship to have a picnic lunch with their friends and family. As time went on, the coast started to bury the ship in sand, and it became impossible to move. People began taking apart the Peter Iredale little by little and selling its parts for scrap. Over the years, the Columbia River Maritime Museum has amassed quite the collection of artifacts from the Peter Iredale, thanks to generous donations from our community members. This includes silverware, scraps of the ship's sails, and Captain Lawrence's Bible. The Peter Iredale is often considered to be one of the most photographed shipwrecks in the world, and it's a popular destination spot for locals and tourists. It's one of the most famous shipwrecks on the Oregon coast, but it isn't the first or the last victim of the Graveyard of the Pacific. Next month, the Columbia River Maritime Museum's shipwreck series will be featuring the wreck of the USS Shark. Thanks for watching.